Welcome back to Outspoken Wheels on Wheels. Today's video is going to be a bit of a compilation. Hopefully it's an organized compilation of videos, um, a van tour basically. But it starts last fall when before I took my van apart after living in it last summer and uh, kind of shows you what it was before and then it moves on to what it is now that I'm down in Arizona and how how it's working for me. So hopefully it's got a nice flow to it. And um, well, anyways, let's get started. So I'm going to do a video as I start to move out of my van. I'm going to do a video on all the things that worked in my van and all the things that didn't work. And we'll be showing you each thing and how I used it um, for this five and a half months that I was living in my van. And I'm going to start with the fridge. I love that fridge. It's really great, but it's so deep. And because of where it sits, like my wheelchair sits in this area here when I'm in the van and sleeping. That's my bed. And it goes up to there. My feet are usually under the bed, under the wheelchair, sorry, when I'm sleeping. So you can imagine that uh, because my wheelchair is up to about here and I'm sitting there, I cannot reach the fridge when I'm in the van. So on rainy days when I don't want to go out and I want to cook on my little single burner, I can't get at the fridge. It's just really awkward. My balance is not very good either, so it's kind of hard to do that. Um, so what I'm hoping to do with that is because this is a Dodge Grand Caravan, I have stow and go seats. And so the next time I go out, I will remove the stow and go seat from that side and drop that fridge. I have to measure to make sure this is gonna work, but I'm gonna drop that fridge down into the floor so that it's lower so that I can reach it easier and hopefully move it back a little bit further so that I can reach it from inside the van when my wheelchair's in. But I've also made it so that I can take my, I don't have this with me because I'm out at Cook Creek right now, but I bought some patio chair covers so that I can leave my wheelchair outside and cover it so that when it's raining, I don't have to worry about it. And that way I have this whole area in here where I can still move around and actually get to my fridge when it's raining. Um, so those other cupboards, the, the mesh drawers are drawers that I had forever and ever. They had all my food and all my dishes and probably a few other odds and ends in them. Um, I'm going to be having somebody build me some cupboards. Uh, more on that in a future clip here, probably in this video. The next tall bank of drawers has my junk drawer on the top or like my office drawer. It's got pens, tape, stapler, all of which I thought were very necessary to have in case. And I don't think I opened that drawer once the whole time, the whole five and a half months. The next drawer down has a couple of games, which I did use occasionally when people were out visiting me. The next one down is more electronics. The next two actually are electronics. And then the next three are clothing drawers. The other one, the white little shorter bank of drawers is um, medical supplies, I'm trying to think, towels, uh, my sort of bathroom supplies like uh, toiletries and stuff like that, and toilet paper, whatever in there. So that's going to get changed too, and I'll explain all that when I explain the renos that I want to do. When I do the renos, I would like to have a place to put my blankets because especially in the spring and the fall, um, during colder times, that's my pile of blankets all sitting there. And every time I want to use the toilet, which is down underneath there, um, I have to move all that stuff. And there's not much room to move it, particularly when my wheelchair, like I said, when my wheelchair is in here. And I have to squish all that stuff up against the wheelchair. Um, so yeah, it's awkward. So toilet, toilet stuff is down in the hole down underneath that. Um, you can just see a mauve top behind the cracker box and that was all my tools and um, clips and ties and things that I thought I would need and frankly I didn't really open that one the whole time I was here either. And then there's a little bin on top that's kind of like my office and Bible study stuff. So 
hopefully I will have a situation set up with my renos uh, in future to fix all that and make it more accessible. All right, the next few clips are me showing you a bunch of the changes that I've made and what my van looks like now, um, now that I'm in Arizona. And <laughs> it was me getting ready in the morning. I woke up in the Walmart parking lot in Yuma and I was um, trying to get ready to go and I thought a nice way to show you the changes in my van would be as I'm, you know, taking the blinds down and doing different things as I'm putting things away to make the van travel ready. So it's awkward and rough, but hopefully you'll like it. Okay, all dressed and ready to go. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit I can't reach my tripod yet because it's up. I probably could reach it actually. It's up on the basket of my wheelchair. But for now, I'm just gonna try and hold the camera and do a few things. So the first thing I'll do, I already opened up the window over there so that some heat would come in because it was cool in here. I don't mind opening up that one because really if somebody looks in that window, they can't see me anyways because of all the shelves. So I'm going to take down the rest of the blinds. Actually, there's just two more in the back that I do because the ones on these back wing windows, I leave there permanently. So I put these away and I can't do that on camera, but they just go, I have all my drawers and stuff. I just tuck them in behind there, so I'm going to do that. And next I'm going to put, uh, organize my toilet area. So I keep my laundry there. That's my toilet area. I haven't figured out a place for that. I used to put it behind these shelves, but it gets too heavy and then the shelves tip over because it pushes from the back of them. I have this wool blanket that I got somewhere that I put over top of everything just to cover it up once it's organized. I have a bin that has my... It's got some lights. There's two lights down there. Some spray bottles. This is not very good. Let me try this again. Okay. So there's a bin. It's like a narrow garbage bin. Not sure if you can see that. I have a camping lamp in there and my one of my spray bottles. And since the toilet paper is out, put that back. The toilet paper goes in there. And I have another camping lamp down there and my garbage bags. And the spray bottles goes there. And my Luggable loo and my pee bottle is right here. I have a thing of kitty litter that I use for my luggable loo. And the red thing that you see there is the doggy bath that I bought that I haven't used yet that I'm going to spread out in this hole. So when I want to have a shower, I have to take everything out of here and put that doggy bath in there. And I have a um, a water pump with a sprayer on the end of it that I've shown in other videos um, that I'm going to use to shower myself off with. So I don't know if it's going to work. It's a very small area, but we'll see. I also keep my solar panel there and the solar panel doesn't work. So that I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that today. I'm going to go to a solar place or a place called, what's it called? something freight. Uh, anyways, there's one here in Yuma and I'm going to go there and see what they have to suggest. And maybe I'll buy myself a solar panel that isn't a Jackery solar panel because I can't, I don't want to wait um, to get a solar panel to charge my Jackeries because I'm heading to Mexico on Monday and I just can't wait for them to mail me one so I'm gonna see if I can pick something up and maybe it'll be cheaper too at 
something freight. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. I've never been to one, but I've heard other people talk about them on YouTube. Anyways, that's that for a sec. Okay, so the wool blanket that I showed you a minute ago. This is not working very well without a tripod. This wool blanket, fold it and lay it down on top of all that. <laughs> I fold it and then I kind of lay it down on top of all that stuff. And I put my laundry bag there. And my garbage can that seals up works really well. It's small and it fits in that space. Then I just have some paper towels in case I need them. I've got water and more water. Sorry, the quality of this is terrible, isn't it? And then I just have my heating pad that I plug into my heating pad that I plug into my Jackery. And I just tuck that there as well. And then the jacket that I wear mostly when I'm camping, I just tuck that. And I also have my little hand towel that I use for cleanups. I usually have that tucked further back there, but I'm not doing this very organized today. Not used to explaining myself as I go. And I have a little um, pack thing. Got some medical supplies in it. I've got these cushions that I use when I'm sleeping, little ones. And I've wrapped my big, I have a fuzzy blanket that I've put in a pillowcase for when I'm just sitting in the van. So that goes on top of everything. And my other pillow. Make sure I'm gonna leave that there. That there. I'm gonna try and get my tripod. All right, let's see if this works better. So just for orientation, that's the side door. There's my wheelchair, back window. So once I get up in the morning, I put my big, I have a big downfilled blanket that works great when it's hot or cold, maybe not hot, but warm or cold. So when I get up in the morning, I stuff it against my wheelchair so that I have some space back here to move around. And when I'm ready to get moving, I stuff it up against the back door. And I have a little quilt that goes on top of it, especially when it's cooler like it has been since I got here. And I fold it up. So it's not always a perfect job, but it's done. And stuff that back there, more cushions. I use a lot of cushions when I sleep at night. Another cushion. Okay, so that area is clear, except for that little table that I usually have in the back uh, has no space to go, so I stuff it up against the door. So I'm gonna pull that out and move my way down the van. down because I don't want this come flying forward so I stuff it down in the hole there so that it doesn't come flying forward when I'm driving and this is kind of my nightstand it's the shelf in the van like people that would be sitting in the back when this is a passenger van 
There's a cup holder here that I've put some little lights in. I have my clock with the temperature on it. I keep my phones right there. I have a little candle that I never use and I get a lot of pain at night, so, or not a lot, but I get pain at night, so I use this hand massager. And I have a back scratcher and a headlamp that doesn't work. Needs batteries. So that's that side of the van. So this bank of drawers is like my bathroom. I keep extra supplies, medical supplies, um, toiletries, all the stuff that I use to clean up in the morning. Um, yeah. And then the next, get my feet out of the way. The next bank of drawers is all my clothes. And I still think I probably have too many clothes, but I really don't like to do laundry very often. I don't like going to laundromats. So the more clothes I have, the longer I can wait until I have to go do laundry. And then these cupboards, I showed you in a previous video, I think. I'm gonna have to set up the tripod for this. I found these on Amazon and they're amazing. Pull that, pull that, it opens up, that's my kitchen. And there's a door like that on the back too. So I have two of those. Pots and pans and stuff in the bottom, other kitchen stuff in the top. And because it's exposed to the sliding door on that side, that would be my outdoor kitchen. So I have a table sitting over there, a folding table that I can pull out uh, once I'm setting up for, if I'm gonna set up in an area for any length of time, I'll pull the table out. And then you can't see it over there, but I have a food box and my coffee and, and dishwashing box on top of the fridge, which has been sunk down into the floor. I'll show you that better once I set up my kitchen, when I'm somewhere where I'm setting up my kitchen. And then the area around my fridge is kind of storage, so I don't know if you can see that white um, thing. That's a, my fold-up fan that I've also shown in a previous video. That's just in the hole beside the fridge, and below that are um, a few different propane canisters because I, I need three different kinds of propane canisters. I need the green ones for my two burner cook stove that I use outside. And then I have the tall fat or the short fat ones that I use for my single burner stove that I use for cooking inside when I, when I can't get out. Um, two reasons that I can think of that I wouldn't be able to get out. One is that the ground is too uneven or too hard to wheel on and so I can't get around to the other side of my van to set up my kitchen so I would use it for that or if the weather is just really bad and I don't want to go out I will do the cooking inside and yes I crack a window so that uh, I usually always have a window cracked which is another really um, useful tip I have those rain guards on all four windows that open and I bought those so that I could keep a window cracked without the rain coming in if it rains at night. Uh, what else? Okay, so before I left, I also just started throwing things in the van that I couldn't find room for in the three, four bins that I have here. Uh, so I just had stuff all over the place. Um, so now I went into Walmart, the Walmart where I stayed last night. I went in there and got these two bins, which are deeper and nicer for some things that won't fit in these bins that I already had. And then I've got this that I just threw stuff in that I'm probably, this, <laughs> that I'm probably going to get rid of once I find space for the two books that I have in there. The blue bin is a bin that I got from my mom. Uh, she used it for sewing supplies. I've thrown in all my reading material, my journals, my um, Bible study material, and all that. And then my computer is there. And 
my pincher reacher tool. I don't know what I'd do without that. I didn't think to put that in the first few times that I went camping. I use it in the front when I'm in the driver's seat and I'm trying to get the window um, covers off the window on the passenger side. I can't reach that, so I use the pincher to pull that one off. And I use it at night, well, when I park, I use it to put it back on that passenger window. And then I have trouble reaching um, the sliding doors, so I use it to poke, particularly that one, uh, that one. I use it to poke that one into the window too. So I've been at this for a year now and I'm learning finally some things that are really practical for me. Hopefully they're, some of the stuff I've said has been useful for you. Anyways, that's it for the van tour, I think, unless I think of anything once I'm out. Oh, one problem with this, uh, you probably can't see the top of that uh, folding storage box. By the way, when you're not using those boxes and if you're at home, if you're not a full-time van lifer, they fold up. Um, but anyways, because all these bins are flat on the top, I keep losing stuff. You probably can't see that down in behind there and right now I can't open my side door it's an electric door and it won't open because things that have fallen down are blocking it so I've got to figure that out today too anyways that's it for now I'll talk to you later here's what the kitchen looks from this side that's my folding table the big white thing my cook stove and then the little bag with the beigey brown thing inside of it is for putting over my it's a patio chair cover and I can put it over my wheelchair if I want to leave it out at night. And what would van life be without your garage? So the purple bin is my toolkit with all the clamps and ropes and whatever. And on top of that is my smart, smart drive which is actually a thing that I can hook onto my wheelchair and it gives me power so my changes my manual wheelchair into a power wheelchair which is really great it's all done by bluetooth and then there's another one of the folding storage boxes so i can access stuff inside it from uh, by the way i'm parked near an army base i guess not an army base but a air force base gets pretty loud around here sometimes Anyways, on with the tour. <laughs> the um, folding storage box that I have in the front so I can access it when I'm driving and I can also access it from the passenger door. I have in there, I have, um, just a minute, get up closer. So the little white thing is my um, Arctic Air air conditioner that I've never used. And I have an air compressor to fill up my wheelchair tires when they need to be done. And the thing in the bag is uh, um, a bug zapper. The bugs were really bad at a campground that I stayed at a lot last year. So I decided to get a bug zapper. So I haven't used that either. And then the green bin is like my shower hair washing and storage area. It's um, like it's got stuff like my, the orange bag is my shower bag. Um, there's a bag of garbage there. And I keep some warmer clothes in that bin too. And I just throw them out on top of the storage box when I'm gonna use it for washing my hair, the green bin I'm in. So that's it. And here's a quick peek at what it looks like. It's a bit of a mess when it's travel ready now that I've um, redone the whole thing.